What's going on you guys, it's your boy MM and today I'm here to bring you another review of Fairy Tale chapter. What a chapter it is, yes that's right. So there's so much hype stuff happening. So the fourth guest is Agnologia. So before I get into that, let's start with what I like about this chapter. So that was quite a lot of funny moments with Brandish and Lucy and Natsu, you know, that moments. So Natsu group actually gonna go and fight, not fight, well they're gonna negotiate with August, but this guy seems like kind of pissed. And at at one point I thought this looked like Gildar's father. I don't know, it's just my thoughts. So let me know what you guys think about that crazy theory. So it seems like Gildar's father and moving on from there, Gajil was the Reaper. So there was three like different sections going on. So first section was, you know, the August was Natsu, then we see Gajil was the Reaper. So Gajil attacks not doing much because Reaper's body is made of the magical barrier particle. So it is a crazy body. It's basically, you know, like having Argyle's power because he made of sand and this guy made of barrier particle. So I wonder how this is going to work because Levi is the one who came and helped out. However, the thing he said right at the end, I shall let Gaji live. That's how it sounds like to me. So he said, I shall let Gaji live. However, I shall take your life. I'm like, okay, so this crazy dude is basically going to take down Levi. And I, I don't think Gajil will let that happen. But I don't know. At this point, there might be a major death. That's probably even Levi. I'm not sure. That's just my crazy prediction. So let me know. I don't want her to die, but that might happen. Just a, just a theory. So it seems like, you know. This guy Reaper is really powerful and he's made of barrier and everyone is basically getting attacked by this barrier as soon as they breathe. You know what happened to basically Laxus, that's what exactly going to happen here. But since uh, Gargil have a bigger lung and it's made of iron, I don't know if that's matter, but since he have a bigger lung, he have higher possibility of surviving than other people. So that is that fight, but I, don't, I can't predict the outcome because there's a two outcomes that may in like happen either Levi die and Gajil get pissed off and kill them or just Levi get seriously injured and Gajil destroying Reaper like ASAP so Levi's power is actually working against him you know just especially the light part so the light part is just uh, like it's illuminate the dark it's basically destroy the darkness and just become light so that is the power she is trying to use also she do have a mask written mask on it so her power does help but i'm not sure if that will you know exactly because bratman the reaper it seems like he is kind of confident about this so i'm looking forward to how they're going to deal against this guy because that's going to be really interesting when it's going to come to this fight and this did happen in our tartarus arc as well because that time Levi was about to die and that time Gajil got pissed off and he, you know Levi served him then Gajil got pissed off since that fishman kind of guy who actually injured Levi so that's why Gajil defeated so this might happen again in this arc so I'm, I'm I don't know how much I'm gonna deal with this one so moving on from there if you see my live reaction I had a high hope that this probably will be our next hero well Gildard uh what well, you know that didn't happen that was Agnologia you know I was kind of let down then I thought shit I, I was hoping for Gildad and like nah it's Agnologia then I'm like what the hell am I doing it's Agnologia I mean it, it's a freaking crazy dragon that been surviving for like 400 years now so that yeah that dragon is back so far as I can see Lean's magic is crazy however Will she really be able to defeat Aklanogia? I don't see that happening. I mean, end of the day, we're gonna see Natsu and you know, that's what we're hoping to see. Natsu and Zeraf teaming up and defeating Aklanogia. That's what I'm hoping to see. I'm pretty sure most of you do the same. So, what I'm trying to say is, Ili more likely to get defeated. I don't care. She can be Ersa's mother, grandmother, sister, anything. You, you, know, you name it. But I don't see she is defeating Aklanogia, even though. Seraph did say it right, right at the last page. Oh my God! The you know the flow of the magic through the ground has been changed. What what the hell are you planning, Elaine? 
So Zerov seems to be worried. You know, to Zerov to be worried, you have to say he have an incredible magic. But what the hell? I mean, she can't obviously defeat. Honestly, I don't think she can defeat Adnanokia. That's my personal opinion. So moving on from there, there is a little other part with you know, crime source source. Uh, Basically, Jalal's gang is here, or or CSZ, you know, X or CSZ, they are here too. And I'm looking forward to who they're going to fight. I mean, she did say the third guest is these guys, and the fourth guest is Agnologia. And second is Fairytale, first one is Blue Pegasus and Sabertooth. So, yeah, it is good to see them. And there is no other much things going on. So, four important things. One, August and Happy's group, well, Natsu's group got meet up. Second, Eileen was um, Adnologia incoming. Third, Orsio Seren, Orsio Seren, Orsio Seren is here. And then fourth, it's um, that Gargil was Bradman. Gargil is kind of getting defeated, but I don't know if Slavy is going to go down or not. So your predictions are welcome, guys. Your comments are welcome, too, in the comment section. I want to end my review here. I really enjoyed the episode. That was funny moments and action to go with, which is great. So let me know what you guys think. If you do have anything else to say, make sure to comment below. If you have any feedbacks, make sure to comment below, too. If you enjoy the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up before you leave. Also, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. To see more fairy tale reviews and live reaction and if you do have spare time make sure to go and check out the live reaction anyway guys have an awesome day and see you guys with more videos